come on in the kitchen, y'all, because I'm fixing to share with y'all one of the favorite dishes that we have served over the years at the Lady and Sons, and it's our cheesy meatloaf with a cheese sauce. Everybody, everybody just loved that meatloaf recipe. So I'm gonna share it with you, and we're gonna start with two pounds of ground beef. You know, I just realized there's no egg up here, Teresa. Did we not put egg in there? I don't see any. No, and I always put uh, egg in my meatloaf, so I don't know. Do you want an egg? No. We'll go right by the the recipe, and uh, we'll see if it needed that egg or not. <laughs> All right, so I've got my two pounds of beef. I've got a teaspoon of house seasoning, a teaspoon of seasoned salt. So I'm just gonna mix that in there good. And uh, I like mixing my meatloaf with my hands and I had just washed my hands. So my hands are clean, y'all. Thank you, Teresa. Will it come on for you? Thank you. All right. So the next thing we're going to add is our chopped onion. And that's one like medium chopped onion. One bell pepper chopped. A cup of shredded cheddar cheese. A cup of um, cracker crumbs. And we use that buttery one. Okay, and a fourth of a cup of Worcestershire sauce. And one cup of sour cream. And we just gonna mix, mix, mix. <laughs> that sounded like Bobby Dean. <laughs> mix, mix, mix. Okay, y'all, today was Aunt Peggy's 91st birthday. And uh, this was the day that the triplets come visiting. They come once a week at like 10 o'clock in the morning and they stay until about 12.30. I feed them lunch and uh, they play and they love all my pictures. They just go around and every baby picture, I have to get them down and just give Amelia the frames and she'll walk around with that picture of the three of them when they were baby, baby, babies. She'll walk around with it, but I wanna just show y'all something. When I get through mixing all this together, I wanna show y'all, it just, this particular picture that Cloud took just really, um, just really did something to me. Okay, this smells heavenly, y'all. All right, so I'm going to start packing that down. And over here in my dish, my casserole dish, y'all, I sprayed it with a non-stick. And now I'm gonna put some bread slices down because that's gonna absorb the grease and our meatloaf won't be swimming in it. So when we take it out of the oven, can you see that in there, Eddie? Oh, uh, when we take that out of the oven, we will just have to take the bread, bread off the bottom. Okay, this is gonna be scrumptious. The recipe says to make it in like a eight by three loaf. So that's about where we are. You're gonna love, love, love this meatloaf. All right, I'm gonna have to, uh, 
have to go wash my hands before I can go any further. So y'all can talk amongst yourself. <laughs> Eddie, can we show them uh, that, that cake, Aunt Peggy's birthday cake? Look at this. I've just got to tell y'all, if you live here in Savannah, there's a young lady out here on Wilmington Island that has a bakery called Flirt. With dessert. Flirt with dessert. <laughs> um, I'll flirt with it, honey. <laughs> this is the best caramel cake I've ever put in my mouth, and it's a 12 layer, isn't it, Eddie? 12 layers, yes. So if you're ever coming through Savannah, call Flirt <laughs> and order. She doesn't just have these, so it's a special order. But just order that 12 layer caramel cake. You will not be disappointed. A lot of people, um, well, to get to Tybee, you have to go through Wilmington Island. So, a lot of people stop here on Wilmington Island and get their groceries that they plan to take to Tybee. So, that would be something great for y'all to pick up to take to the beach. It is so, so good. All right, so we're gonna put this in the oven at 325, y'all. And we are gonna bake it until it's a nice brown color. And it'll be at least 45 minutes to an hour before this is done. And uh, while this is cooking, we'll make the sauce that we're gonna pour over it. And mm, all you need is a big old pot of white rice. Ooh, ooh it's so good. So in the oven, 325, but at least an hour. Oh, so I wanna show y'all something. So like I said, it was uh, Aunt Peggy's birthday, 91. And Cloud took a picture that uh, it just really, it really got to me. Not quite a two-year-old hand and a 91-year-old hand. That just, that does something to me. I don't know, uh, you can see this one has walked a long road and this one is just beginning her road with life. And uh, I don't know, I said I wanna get this on paper and frame it. I just, I just love that. Let me see, I think there's one more. You know, it's funny how babies, my babies, my triplets will come up to me and they'll, they'll feel on my skin, <laughs> my arms. <laughs> uh, because that's so uh, different for them. You know, their mom and daddy's skin doesn't feel or look like that. <laughs> but I just thought that was so sweet. I just wanted to share that with y'all. Okay, y'all, our cheesy meatloaf is ready. And now I'm gonna make the sauce for it. And I am using one can of um, cream of mushroom soup. And cream of mushroom soup is, you know, it's. It's just so good to use this about any kind of sauce. Okay, and I'm putting in, is that two cups of shredded cheddar, Teresa, or yes, one? Yes, Two. So two cups of Really, it's two, actually two and a quarter, I think. It's like a little oh, bit okay. extra. Whoa. All right, and now I'm gonna add one can of milk. And we're just gonna bring this to a ball. And we're gonna pour it over that meatloaf. And like I said, all you need. Come on, come on, fire up, there it is. All you need is um, a big old pot of white rice. <laughs> and it's so good. So 
So it'll just take a second for that to come to a ball. All right, you just wanna put that over heat, y'all, until all your cheese has melted. And this is all melted, and now we're just gonna pour it over our meatloaf. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. And then my leftover sauce, I put in a gravy boat and put it on the table because you know what? You see this pretty man standing right here? Ah. <laughs> He likes him some sauce, don't you? I sure do. <laughs> That's delicious. And you, I know this cheesy burger meatloaf. And uh, you came in to tell me you got to go to work, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, how long are you going to be gone? Because this was our supper. Just a uh, um, couple of hours. Okay, good. Well, what do you think about your supper? It's delicious. Really good. Good. <laughs> Yum. Save me a piece. Captain approved. Well, if you're just going to be going a couple of hours, I'll well, wake supper. you know how things change. Yes, I do. <laughs> well, you look nice. Well, thank you. Don't get your eyes fixed. <laughs> okay, I'm not. Oh, I can't, they oh. can't get fixed. <laughs> oh, no. It works out good for me. Yeah. <laughs> I wish your eyes would get a little bit more blurred. <laughs> they are. You're, no, uh-uh. Your eyes are good. <laughs> All right, love y'all. You be careful. Wear your gloves, wear your mask. Don't touch well, this one's, anything. This is probably cleaner than the rest of them. Oh, they, I, they bet. Had to, I bet. I they bet. Bring a team in there. Please. Yeah, good. So I'll see you in a couple of hours. All right, bye. <laughs> Loving best dishes. <laughs> He's so good. <laughs> and love and best dishes to y'all. y'all it's Paula Dean. Now if you enjoyed this video be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes y'all.